Welcome to another video by Peppy Techie, Technology Help with Less Stress and More Success. This video is about removing backgrounds in photos that you've put into PowerPoint. And here is an example on slide two of a photo. Here's a little daisy and there's a lot of clutter and all we want to do is add Daisy into the picture so we can add her into something without all that clutter. So when you double click on a picture, your menu bar changes and you get photo tools. Format. And over here we have Remove Background, new in 2007. I'm in 2013, so it may look a little different than some of yours. When I click on it, I get these two things and automatically it adds this purple, which removes background. As I start cropping the picture down, it's going to take away those colors that I don't want. And if you'll notice, it actually has taken away a little bit of her ear and things. We don't want that. We want all of Daisy. So I'm going to crop it even closer. And oh, it's X. It just said, hey, you don't even want Daisy. You just want the pumpkin. That's not true. So when this happens, you'll notice we've lost a little bit. And these are not the options I want. So I click on the word background removal, double click, and then I get this menu. So I'm going to mark areas to keep. It's like a little pencil. And I click, and I get a pencil, and I draw her ear, or draw on where her ear should be. And there, I just created, got rid of that. I notice back here, she's lost a little bit of her tail. and So I'm going to draw that. And that's come back. It looks like we've got everything that we want here. What I don't want are these spiders. So again, I'm going to click on background removal. Mark areas to remove. Click on those spiders. Draw on those right now. And there, they're gone, which is great. And I also want this little rounder, and this is kind of sticking up here in my picture, so I'm going to get rid of these mums, that looks a little more um, symmetrical. I will click back on background removal and say keep changes. And now I'll notice, oh, I didn't get rid of the skeleton. No problem. Click back on the picture, click back on format, back to remove background. Again, I have to click on this. Mark areas to remove. Click on that and just draw a line right through there and it should get rid of that. Now be careful because it's looking for whites and it could get rid of something else in the photo that you want. So let me look carefully. Looks really good. Back to background removal. Keep my changes so you can keep going back and forth till you get what you want. And that is exactly what I want. Now I'm going to say this is perfect. Make it a little smaller. Move it right here. Now the other thing I could do is right click on this. Copy it, of course. Move it to the front page. Right click and paste. Or you could do control V. And now you can see how removing the background can add a lot to this picture. So now, here's my sidekick right there. Make her just a little smaller. Move her there. And now when I go into my slideshow, there she is, and the background is all removed, and she's added as a picture. I hope you've liked removing background from photos in PowerPoint, and you'll use that feature soon. Please make sure you subscribe to our videos here at Peppy Techie on YouTube, and visit our website, peppytechie.com.